Okay, today we're going to take a look at performance turn compression ratio calculator, but this time we're going to take a look at some of the more advanced features. To get started, we're just going to open up a new file. Open. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at a Chevy engine instead of a Ford engine. You can see when we open it up, it populates most of the input buttons. Uh, what I want you to, to take notice of is our dynamic compression ratio, our cranking pressure and PSI, and also our intake valve closing in degrees. These are not operational right now. In order to make these operational, we're going to turn on our detailed inputs with deck height and dynamic compression ratio. Now you can see that these options have been turned on and also that our intake valve closing. This is now part of our calculation when determining our compression ratio. Um, let's see. I also want to make a quick point about changing um, some of the inputs. If you notice here, our engine size is uh, 345.9, so about 346 cubic inches. If we just want to come in here and change that to 4, now you can see that our, that our cubic inches have changed from 345 to 363. Um, another thing that we can do is we can either change the inputs here or if we have a calc button, we can use other information to make these adjustments for us. Uh, such as, let's say that I already know what uh, cubic inch we want to go with. And let's just say we want to up that to a 427. We can use these calculations. It inputs all the information for us. And now we are up to a 427. Um, let's see. Another thing that we might want to take a look at is our where is it? deck height clearance right here. And you can see that our uh, compression ratio is up to 11, 11 to 1. And let's see what happens if we change our deck height clearance. We're going to go with a negative number, so this time it actually goes above the piston wall just a little bit, 15 thousandths. And if we click up here, you see that we are now up to 11.5 to 1 in our compression ratio. Now let's say that we want to make it even a little bit higher. Let's say that we want to go to 12. So let's do um, adjust specs to get a desired compression ratio. And we can do that here by just clicking here. And let's say that we want to adjust the piston top in order to get that. And so we're going to change this to 12. Okay, now what has happened is that we've changed from a flat top piston to a dome top piston, and we've increased the CCs to 3.77 in order to get our 12, 12 to 1 compression ratio. And that will conclu conclude our demo of this software.